Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Cervone. Today in lesson 90, we will be learning about radian measure of angles. So according to the do now, we, ha we have a circle of radius five and a central angle of 30 degrees. What is the length of minor arc AB? So yesterday we learned that the arc length in general is equal to the central angle theta divided by 360 degrees and times two pi r. So in this particular case, the arc length from A to B is equal to 30 degrees over 360 degrees times two pi and then times five, which is the radius of the circle. So that gives us an arc length of AB to be equal to 5 pi over 6, which is approximately equal to 2.6. So what does this number tell us? Well, that means that uh, if, let's say, the radius of the circle is 5 inches, then the distance from A to B, so imagine you're walking from A all the way to B, you're walking 2.6 inches if you're really, really tiny and walking from A to B or vice versa. So it gives us the length as if you take AB and uh, stretch it out and make it straight and measure it against the ruler. Okay, so now here in the discussion, it says, what is the angle of a sector of a circle for which the arc length is equal to the radius of the circle? Hmm. So now the radius is not given and the arc length is not given. They both are. How do we find angle theta? So in this case, we apply the same method. So we use the formula that the arc length, so let me use a different color. So arc length equal to, again, theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay. So instead of L, we can write r, we can substitute the arc length for r because it's given to be r, equal to, we don't know what theta is, so we are going to leave it in terms of theta. You can also write x if you would like, divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi, and then r again because we are going to leave it in terms of r. Okay, so what can we do on both sides of the equation here already? Well, first, we can cancel out the r. So that means that this becomes one is equal to theta over 360 times two pi. The next thing is to simplify two over 360. So basically this becomes one and this becomes 180. Okay, uh, so here we have one is equal to theta over 180 and then times pi, okay? Uh, but here we want to solve for theta. So how do we do this? Well, we can multiply both sides by 180. So here we get 180 degrees is equal to theta times pi. And finally, we so isolate theta. Uh, so theta is equal to 180 degrees over pi. So if you do the math, um, theta is actually approximately equal to 57.3 degrees. That's the approximate value. Okay, so why are we doing this? Because it turns out that this is defined as one radian. Uh, basically, the application here is to convert degree measure to radian measure and vice versa. But what is exactly radian measure? Okay, so here's the definition. One radian is a unit of angle equal to an angle at the center of the circle whose arc is equal in length to the radius. So basically, whatever we just calculated here is defined as one radian, okay? So, you can view radian measure as a different way to define angle measure. For example, we're used to using 360 degrees. But if you think about that, 
that is basically an arbitrary number. Where does 360 come from? Maybe because in ancient times, the belief was that there are 360 days. Uh, why not picking 100 degrees or 400 degrees or some other number, 1000 degrees? So if you think about it, it's all arbitrary. As a matter of fact, radian measure is more accurate. And later on, when you take calculus classes, uh, you will be using radian measure more thoroughly because it has better application with calculus level mathematics. So let me give you a better explanation of what radian is. Something a little bit more visual, okay? So let's say you have a circle. Okay, so let me draw a circle here. And, you know, in a circle we know we have 360 degrees. Um, so basically, if you draw this line over here, um, and let's say the radius of the circle is 1, okay? So if you go all around the circle, that is 360 degrees, okay? But how many radians is that? Well, in that case, you have covered the entire circumference of a circle along the circle this way, okay? So that's what you have done. You cover the entire circumference. What is the circumference of a circle with radius one? Well, it's just two pi r, and in this case, uh, the circumference is just gonna be two pi because the radius is one, so let me write it as two pi, okay? So that means that at this point, at the start, you have zero radians, okay? But then at the finish here, you have two pi radians because you have covered the entire circumference of a circle of unit one, okay? Uh, so maybe something to think about is the following. Here in the table, if zero degrees is zero radians and 360 degrees is two pi radians within a unit circle, uh, then how many radians uh, is 180 degrees, or 90 degrees, or 45 degrees, or 270 degrees. So that's something you could now think about by pausing the video and try trying this out. Okay, so since we know that 180 degrees is half of 360 degrees, that must be just pi radians, okay? So in the diagram, we can mark it here as pi radians. What about 90 degrees? That is pi over two radians because nine degrees is half of 180. Uh, and what about 45 degrees? Well, that must be pi over four radians. Let me actually mark this in the diagram. So 90 degrees here, we have pi over two and 45 degrees, which is approximately here. So let me type this in 45 degrees. We have pi over four radians. Okay, what about 270 degrees? Well, let's think about where's 270 degrees located? Well, 270 is located here, right? Because this is 180. So this is 180. Uh, so we're adding another 90 degrees here. So let me write plus 90. So therefore, this entire thing is 270 degrees, okay? So how many pi radians would that be? Okay, so here we have pi over two. Uh, this will be considered two pi over two. So therefore, this is three pi over two, okay? So the answer is three pi over two radians, okay? All right, so let's have the following discussion now, or reflection. How do you convert from degrees measures to radian measure and number two, how do you convert from radian measure to degree measure? So the answer for part one is the following. Radian measure equals to degree measure times pi over 180. And that actually makes sense because degree measure is in degrees right here. And also 180 is in degrees. So if you think about this, would actually cancel the numerator, the degree over whatever is in the denominator in degree and you're left with radian measure. Okay, what about the other way around? How do you convert from radian measure to degree measure? Okay, so for number two, we write degree is equal to radian 
times what? What do you think we need to multiply the radian measure by to obtain the degree measure? Well, simply the reciprocal of whatever we had before. So it's times 180 degrees over pi radians, okay? So these are basically the formulas. So I want you to please remember this uh, so you can complete your homework assignment, okay? So let me mark this in, I'll highlight this in yellow, okay? Okay, so there it is. These are the two formulas. Please write this in your notes. These are the formulas that you will need to complete your homework assignment, okay? Okay, so let's look at an example. Number one, convert 210 degrees to radian measure, okay? So this was supposed to say to radian measure. Let me type that in, to radian measure. Okay, so how would you do that? Okay, so we learned that the radian measure radian is equal to, so if you look up here, radians is the, the degree measure times pi over 180. Okay, so we take the degree measure of 210 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180 degrees. At this point, we can just simplify this and leave everything in terms of pi and as a simplified fraction. Okay, so the answer here is seven pi over six. Okay, and that is the answer. Okay, so now we got convert seven pi over six to degree measure. Um, I should have probably picked a different problem because now we know that seven pi over six is already 210 degrees. So let me change that. Let's say we have, let's say six pi over seven. Okay, let's make it a little bit more interesting. How would you convert that to degree measure? But again, here we say degree is equal to, and if, again, if you look at the formula here, radian times 180 over, times pi over pi. Uh, so we write the radian measure here, six pi over seven times, um, and here we write 180 over pi, okay? So 180 degrees divided by pi. So, in most cases, here you end up always canceling a pi in most cases, but not always. Okay, so now you're left with six times 180 divided by seven. And how many degrees is that? Okay, so the answer is about 154.3 degrees, okay? And that is the answer. Okay, so basically that's all you need to know how to do. Uh, that's what the regions or the common core geometry regions exam is requiring for you to know how to just convert from degree to radian and vice versa. Um, I believe that the, um, the regions exam also has these formulas in the back as well. Uh, but I will let you know the more, in more detail if that is true or not, okay? But other than that, uh, that's basically it for today's lesson. You know, if you have any questions, please feel free to, um, you know, add a comment in my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm more than help, happy to answer all the questions as much as I can. You can also email me. Uh, but anyways, what I want you to do at this point is complete the homework assignment. So check worksheet number 90. It's already posted on Schoology. That is not due until Monday, okay? Okay, so other than that, uh, thank you again for watching my channel. Uh, and if you liked it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Other than that, have a great day.